Hello friends, I am Aryam Guru, working as Assistant Professor in Shadow Institute Technology, College of Engineering, in Swedish Department. I welcome you in the Surveying 1 course, and this is Module 2, and name of the module is Compass Survey. In compass survey, chain or tape is used for linear measurement and compass is used for fixing direction. In compass, freely suspended magnetic needle directs to north-south and the bearing of line is obtained by line of sight. Particularly, when large area is involved, then compass survey is used. Basically, there are two methods of land measurement. One is triangulation survey and another is traverse survey. In this slide, we will see the compass. A compass is a small instrument which mainly consists of a magnetic needle, a graduated circle and a line of sight. Then we will see the principle of magnetic compass. If a long narrow strip of steel or iron is magnetized and is suitably suspended or pivoted about the point near its center, it will oscillate freely about the vertical axis and will tend to establish itself in the magnetic meridian. Then we are going to see what are the types of magnetic compass. First is prismatic compass and second is surveyor compass. The magnetic compass never gives an angle between the two survey lines directly. It gives only the angle of survey line with reference to magnetic meridian at a particular station. So, to determine the angle between the two survey lines, person has to do manual calculation on recorded bearings. This slide refers to type of compass. One is prismatic compass and another is surveys compass. We will observe the images of prismatic compass on the right part and image of survey compass on the left part. When we are going to use the prismatic compass, we are going to make use of prism and the object when and whenever we are trying to establish line of sight passing through isolate of prism and object when and its continuation with the ranging rod then whatever the line of sight which is established that line is called survey line and for that line with reference to magnetic meridian whatever the angle measured is called bearing of a line similarly on the left part we will observe the surveyor compass and surveyor compass is used to record the horizontal bearings, bearings and you can make use of object when as well as I when in order to establish a line of sight and after establishing a line of sight it is possible to read the reading directly from the top of the compass and whatever the angle you are going to get will be written by considering the quadrants in which that particular needle lies and that is called quadrantal bearing system and then we will see the prismatic compass the prismatic compass is the most convenient and portable form of magnetic compass which can either be used as a hand instrument or can be fitted on a tripod the greatest advantage of prismatic compass is that both setting the object as well as reading circle can be done simultaneously without changing the position of the eye. Prismatic compass comprises of magnetic needle attached to the circular ring made up of aluminium. The needle is on the pivot and will orient itself in the magnetic meridian. Therefore, it is going to point north-south direction and the ring will be in that particular direction. The line of sight is defined by the object vane and the eye slit both attached to the compass. The object when consists of a vertical hair attached to a suitable frame while the eye slit consists of a vertical slit cut into the upper assembly of the prism both being hinged to the box. A triangular prism is fitted below the eye slit having suitable arrangement for focusing to suit different eyesight. The readings increases in clockwise direction from 0 degree at south end, 90 degree at west end. 180 degree at north end and 270 degree at east end. So these are the graduations which are marked on the graduated disc. Then the object frame can be folded on the glass lid which covers the top of 
box and whenever we are trying to fold the object when it is going to terminate the contact between the pivot and the magnetic needle that's why the tear and wear of the magnetic needle gets minimized then the object when presses against a lifting lever which lifts the needle of the pivot and hold, holds it against the glass lid when glass objects are sighted dark glasses may be interposed into the line of sight this is the sketch showing the construction of prismatic compass so whenever we are considering the different part of the compass it has got its specific use for example if you consider the box it is a circular in diameter and generally 8 to 10 cm in diameter and at the center of the box there is a pivot which is provided and pivot is provided in order to uh, suspend the magnetic needle over it and over that there is a graduated disc and the graduated disc has got a graduation ranging from 0 to 360 degree and it is attached to the magnetic needle as soon as the magnetic com compass is going to be used it is going to show the north south direction at a place then on the right part you will going to observe the prism, uh, prism, prism and prism has got a slit and through the slit it is possible to read by opening the lid of the prism cap so that the whatever the graduation which are seen on the graduated disc which is going to move or rotate will be seen from the while looking through the ringing rod which is held in continuation with the object when and whenever we are trying to record the bearing of a line at that time our line of sight should be established and at the same time we should be in a position to record the bearing of a line and whatever the bearing of a line we are going to record that is called whole circle bearing generally in our in order to uh, get re relaxation or in order to avoid the damage to the eyesight whenever we are trying to uh, have a bearing towards the brighter object then generally the sun dark sunglasses are used similarly the mirrors are also used to reflect the image of the object so that during the sunlight it is possible to bisect the or establish the line of sight by making use of that similarly lifting pin is used in order to dampen the oscillation so it is in between the box and the object when and it is to be provided and next part is the break breaking pin or breaking lever it is generally provided in order to disconnect the connection between the magnet magnetic compass or the magnetic needle and the pivot so that the tear and wear of the uh, pivot will be minimized so this is all about the construction of prismatic compass this slide refers to surveyor compass surveyor compass acquires its name from its extensive use by the different surveyors but the prismatic compass has now been replaced as they are light compact and handy it is similar in construction to the prismatic compass with few differences they are the graduated ring is attached to the circular box and not to the magnetic needle the eye vein consists of metal vein with a fine sight hole whereas in case of prismatic compass a uh, prism is attached to record the bearing of a line below the figure indicate the main part of the surveyor compass showing eye vein on the left guide vein on the right guide vein is also called as object vein and whenever we are trying to uh, establish a line of sight looking through eye vein in passing through guide vein and in continuation with, with that the ringing rod which is bisected is going to establish a line of sight for a particular survey line and after establishing that particular line <coughs> it is possible to locate what is the angle made by the magnetic needle 
and that will be recorded by making use of the position of the magnetic needle lying in a particular quadrant generally as far as the surveyor compass is considered the uh, bubble tubes which are uh, provided inside the box and they are provided at right angles to each other so whenever uh, while using the surveyor compass in order to um, bring the compass in a leveled position we are supposed to bring the bubbles which are provided in the bubble tube and once they are at center we can assume that whatever the compass is there it is leveled and after that is we, we can record the bearing of lines maybe in the forward direction maybe in the backward direction so whenever we are going to record the bearing of a line in a forward direction it is forward bearing and when the bearing of a line is measured in a backward direction it is called back bearing of a line as the compass box is turned the letters n e s and w turn with it but the needle continues to point towards north and gives a reading which is dependent on the position of the graduated circle the 0 degree is placed at both north and south directions and 90 degree is marked at east and west direction normally the surveyor compass are available with inbuilt level tube so no external level tube is required for the leveling purpose which is shown in the below diagram it gives the reading of survey line in quadrant bearing system and generally the angle range in case of quadrant bearing is 0 to 90 degree whereas in case of prismatic compass the angle we can measure should range in between 0 to 360 degree so the this is a slide which is going to differentiate between the prismatic compass and surveyor compass first of all we will see by look wise in case of prismatic compass prism is provided at the end and slit on the other end whereas in case of surveyor compass no prism is provided only the slits are provided at the both ends then the prismatic compass can be used with or without tripod stand whereas surveyor compass requires use of tripod stand in case of prismatic compass observation taken with help of prism provided by eye slit whereas in case of surveyor compass observation directly taken or read from the top of the compass in case of prismatic compass the magnetic needle does not act as an index whereas in case of surveyor compass magnetic needle act as an index then prismatic compass reads the whole circle system and the radiations are recorded in wcb system whereas in case of surveyor compass quadrant bearing system is graduated then in case of prismatic compass graduation marking appear inverted from top so 0 at south and 180 degree at north whereas in case of surveyor compass graduations mark directly 0 at north and 90 degree at east then in case of prismatic compass graduated circle is attached with a needle does not rotate with line of sight whereas in case of surveyor compass permanently attached with a box rotate with a line of sight so this is the major difference between the prismatic compass and surveyor compass so friends in this lecture video lecture we have seen what is mean by prismatic compass what is mean by surveyor compass what are the part of prismatic compass what are the part of surveyor compass what is the point of differentiation between the surveyor compass and prismatic compass mainly we have seen the prismatic compass has been used to record the whole circle bearing whereas surveyor compass is used to record the quadrantal bearing or reduced bearing thank you